What do you do when you're reading a head CT and you find a new sclerotic mass in the cervical spine? Patient is being imaged for B cell lymphoma, and an astute fellow sitting next to me pointed out that there was a new sclerotic mass in the cervical spine that wasn't there previously. Lymphoma doesn't generally produce sclerotic masses, so this was a confusing development. We looked back to an examination from just three months earlier, and in that same vertebral body, there is no evidence of sclerosis along the posterior margin. So what could be responsible for this sudden development of a sclerotic mass along the posterior vertebral body. What do you think is going on? Well, we uncovered an additional examination from three years earlier, and there's a very interesting finding at that location. There is super dense material. This is undiluted refluxed contrast that is coming up through the venous system. And maybe if you were super perceptive, you might have noticed the undiluted contrast refluxing into the vertebral veins, even on this initial image. Perhaps if I show you an image just further superiorly, you can see these veins more clearly with their undiluted contrast. So now that we've got all three of these, one without any reflux contrast, one with clear, obvious reflux contrast, and our current examination, you can see that this isn't a sclerotic mass at all. It's just undiluted contrast refluxing back into the basi vertebral vein. Reflux of contrast can be quite confusing. The undiluted contrast can mimic pathology, and it doesn't necessarily connect up with the contrast in the subclavian vein. So be careful, be aware of this potential mimic.